Hello YouTubers and welcome to another Disney Pixar Cars diecast review. Yesterday I got two new cars from the package. Millie, the janitor pity from Cars 3, and Otis, the friendly lemon from Cars 2. And are both and we're both released for this year of 2022. So first, we're gonna start with Millie from Cars 3. Now, before we get right into the review, let me discuss something. So, Millie is a female pity who serves as the janitor at the Rusty's Racing Center. So. Before we get right into the, the, re, her, in the retrospect, right, let's take a look at the packaging. So here we've got his, her die cast, and her mop, and the cone, and her artwork, and her name, and the Cars logo, and the Metal logo, and the Mattel logo, and the red background. And on the back we've got the Cars 3 logo, and the cars that I reviewed previously, Rusty's Cruz Amiras, APB, Liability, Strip the Keen Weathers, Murray Clutchburn, and Jackson Storm. We have the Mattel logo, and the Arson Racing Sports Network, and a, a tag, which, and the rest of it is covered by this tag there, and it has a code number that says X003BB5BTL, New Disney and Pixar Cars movies for kids age three and older. And so now, without any further ado, let's open her up. Okay. Uh, there and there. So here and here she is, Millie the Gender Pity herself. So during her appearance in Cars 3 in 2017, I mean, she was first shown mopping the floors outside Sterling's office with the code number A113, which was a strange which is a strange code number for many Pixar films, while Lightning McQueen was standing outside whilst whilst Cruz Ramirez was talking indistinctively to Sterling. When she was when Millie was done, she told Lightning that the floors were all washed up, meaning that the floors were clean. And during the end credits, she was seen again. And during her diecast release, and she is also a Buffomatic 2000 forklift, which is, and she's the only Buffomatic 2000 forklift or pity in the Cars universe. And during her diecast releases, she had been released as a single twice, starting from 2021. And now, without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. So here we've got her stubborn look, her chrome gray arms, and, and her stubborn expression, and her silver white, silver white exterior, and her black window sills. And on both sides, we've got the white rims on the white wool tires no tampos anywhere and underneath it says made in Thailand Mattel R12A GRR73 
And we've also got her mop, which says Buffington X and can and is very easy for her to fit. And we've also got got the caution cone, which is basically used for mopping floors. And that is it. Now let's pull up some of the other pities. We've got My Name Is Not Chuck, who is a 2003 Nemomatic pity. Guido, who is a three-wheeled pity, resembling an, an Aceta. And finally, Sweetie, who, who is another, who is a, I'm going to say a sugar cube pity. And for some of the other Rusty's Racing Center er, folks, we've got Rusty's Racing Center Lightning McQueen, Sterling, and finally Cruz Ramirez. And that is it. So what do you guys think? Which pity is your favorite? And which Rusty's Racing Center team member is your favorite also? Let me know what you think as well as leaving suggestions of which car to review next in the comments down below. And if you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. Also, don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel. And I hope to see you guys next time for another review, so please stay tuned. Goodbye now!